some of the things to consider that we've been discussing a lot here this week is data management. Now, to be useful, yield monitor data needs to have additional attributes associated with it. For instance, um, planting day. When we gather information from the combine, we know the day was harvested, the time, the yield, the moisture, the elevation, but we do not know the planting date. We do not necessarily know the variety, the uh, products been applied, the weather conditions. So while the data is readily available from the farmer, it's just that it is seldom recorded along with the yield market data. And that's something that farmers today and the practitioners of precision ag need to be conscious of. One of the issues that have been uh, plaguing precision ag for a long time is the issue of calibration of yield monitor. Uh, when farmers begin to start seeing that there is a lot of value to yield monitor data to them, they'll take more um, efforts to calibrate yield monitors and maintain the equipment and so forth. Uh, right now we're not seeing that being a common practice. Uh, but once that data is perceived as being valuable, that will start occurring. Another issue that we've seen, and this has been true for a long time, is that there has been a limited availability of qualified third-party analyst uh, support. So for instance, uh, as a farmer, if there's not local support for a certain type of equipment, in this case precision ag, I wouldn't be incentivized to adopt that technology. And likewise, uh, a dealer or a retailer we would not be incentivized to provide that service if there wasn't a sufficient number of farmers willing to pay for it. But now, I think at the time's right, the iron is hot, it's ready to strike. There's lots of farmers who are demanding these services, and lots of, uh, of qualified people out there. Uh, if I just want to give some advice to a um, equipment, man, uh, equipment dealer, you know, thinking in terms of an equipment dealer, let's say, I would want to do something that would bridge that gap. I'd want to be able to provide that third party support to incentivize farmers to adopt that technology. It would be a win-win situation for everybody involved. The third party analyst could be composed up of several different backgrounds, but the one that strikes my attention is somebody who's going to assist the farmer with um, agronomic interpretation uh, decision making, uh, uh, planning. This this type of person would be, uh, you know, it could be a traditional crop consultant, or it could be someone slightly different from that. Uh, this person would be trusted. Uh, let's call them a trusted advisor, someone who the, the farmer can um, have complete confidence in from a uh, data uh, anonymity standpoint, from not being biased towards any particular product or, or so forth. But this person would be involved in, in the planning process. I think uh, the local equipment dealers as well as local retailers are both would have the similar incentives to, to provide this third party analyst, third party support for the, for the farmers to, to assist them in the interpretation of the analysis results as well as uh, taking those results and using those for uh, farm management recommendations in, in the planning process.